Hello folks, welcome to the Sheffield Canal and today it's a very very special event indeed. It's the Canal and River Trust Let's Fish event and I'm absolutely honoured to be asked to come here and coach today because what this event's about is bringing new blood into the sport and catching some lovely fish along the way. So without further ado I want to go and have a chat with a few of the great men behind what I think is the best organisation, the best structure for bringing new people into the sport. Well I'm here with John Ellis, a good friend of mine and the man behind the Let's Fish event which John, it must be an absolute nightmare to get something of this scale off the ground and keep it running. Well, I think it's what you call a challenge, Tom, isn't it? And certainly the sport is in desperate need of the results that we're starting to get here. Um, as you say, Tom, I suppose I am the, the overall brains behind the scheme, but without the likes of Peter Henry and a small army of level one and level two coaches, and today Kevin Jessup, um, is the lead level two coach. Without those guys all working together as a team, we couldn't possibly achieve any of it. So even though I'm at the heart of it, it's a real team effort. Absolutely. Let me ask you very quickly about the structure of this, because it is, you know, to me, it's mind blowing, to be honest, that you've managed to create and you and your team have managed to create something that does so much good for fishing. So obviously the idea is we have workshops like this where people get their first taste of fishing. How many of these went on in the country this year? In 2021, I think it's 452 what we call introductory sessions, where it's people that have never fished before come along for the first time and have a go. Some come back two, three, four times and they get certificates, they can do their Gudgeon Award, which basically means they can fish on their own. And then beyond that, some will carry on and they will enter one of our regional celebration competitions. A few will enter the national celebration. I say a few, yeah, it's a proper event. We had 202 young people aged between seven and 20 fish the national celebration this year. And in 2022, looking ahead, we've got a Commonwealth Games Team of Nations uh, event to look forward to, Tom. It, um, it, it's really impressive, John. You single-handedly, or not single-handedly, but, but you know, you're leading, to me, the biggest single charge to bring more people into fishing, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. And not only that, but um, as a coach and as somebody who's been here today helping people get the first taste of fishing, I've really, really enjoyed yeah. it. It's a very wholesome... Jack, Jack summed it up, yeah. the cameraman, he said, uh, walked up and down filming, he said, I tell you what, it's really wholesome this. He said, genuine yeah. happiness, and, yeah. and that's what you get. And the coaches, and, and it's, you know, not everybody that comes will take up fishing. We think between 20 to 30% is actually realistic. And the coaches, you, you knew this morning, didn't you? Yeah, but a couple of them definitely got it, the way they concentrated and the way they held the pole. The others enjoyed it but you know they never come back and that doesn't matter that's no, part it doesn't. of it that's part of it it's it, it's a, it's in the end of the day it's a numbers game and if we could introduce 20,000 people a year and four or five thousand took up the sport wouldn't that make a difference wouldn't it just and i know david preston and, and myself at fuka really want to get behind this as much as we can and hopefully everyone else in the trade will do the same because what these guys are doing is absolutely brilliant so anything and everything we can do to help them we should do Uh, I've had three perch, had two small ones, they one quite decent. Uh, the roach aren't really biting today, it's just the perch. So I'll put on a small worm and hopefully we can get a few more of them. I love predator fish, they're really aggressive big fish, uh, all sorts of sizes. It's just really fun. It's, it's something he's always wanted to try. Um, so he's always wanted to do, he always wanted to do fishing, but we went out not really knowing where to start with it all. So um, we found that when we were out, people were really helpful. Like other fishermen would give us tips and you know a bit of advice, and, um, and then we found out about the let's let's fish coaching sessions. They've been brilliant because that taught him everything he needs to know. Basically, yeah. he's um, really really enjoyed it. He's, really taken to it and got a real sort of passion for it. He likes the fact he never knows what he's gonna what he's gonna catch it. I probably started when I was about ten years old. I uh, had my first session just a bit further down the canal and I really enjoyed it. 
So I gave it a go myself and ever since then I've just carried on fishing. Just because you're fishing, you, d you don't know what you're going to catch next. There's yeah. always something else that's lurking in the canal. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, he fishes at Crooks Valley Park. He quite likes the lake up there. Uh, he's caught his, um, his PB perch <laughs> up there. It's quite a good, probably about a pound and a half we got. Victoria Keys, further um, towards city centre. But all over, he fishes all over really. Sometimes he does a bit of river fishing as well. So he's done a bit in the River Sheath. Um, wherever he can, wherever he gets the opportunity to go, he'll go. <laughs> yeah. He's recently in the um, young people celebration. And yeah, he did do well. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that. It was a really good day. Uh, had a few bream, uh, gudgeon, uh, all sorts really. But it did get a bit cold at one point, it started raining. But after that, the fish just kept biting and biting. It was a really good day. It just gives them a bit, like, a bit of an insight into um, what fishing's all about. And it's probably something they wouldn't really get the opportunity to do unless there's sort of someone else that fishes in their family that would take them out. And um, But I think it's really good for it's nice to be, you know, in, the, in nature and, and by by the water and I think for their mental health as well it's really really good yeah my son loves how you know how peaceful it is and he loves being outdoors and it's, it's been really good for him. So what do we think this weekend's going to hold fishing wise? Well sadly the forecast is not looking great but the good news is it's staying fairly mild. I'm seeing temperatures of between 9 and 13 degrees depending whereabouts in the country you are, Mr. Little Bite there. So that means the fishing should be fairly good, it's just going to be very unpleasant weather to be sat out fishing in. If you're heading on the rivers, take a good look at the EA's river level gauge because that'll tell you what you need to know. And honestly, I think it could be a tricky one because it looks to me very much like we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of incoming water. And because it's slightly colder than it has been, as I said, it's not not freezing cold or anything like that, but because it's, it's slightly colder than it has been in previous weeks, I do worry that you know, a few of the rivers might switch off. It might be a little bit more tricky than it has been. This roach is just playing a little bit stubborn. There we go. If, um, if you're heading to a commercial fishery, again, that drop in temperature and that cooler rain might make things a little bit difficult. I don't know exactly what to expect, to be honest. I don't think it's going to be uh, absolutely awful in terms of no bites at all but just be aware things are cooling down and fish don't really like cool rain so I'd certainly be erring on the side of caution when it comes to deciding how to fish and feed the peg you know you're not going to be catching uh, huge weights this weekend start off steady feel your way in and I think you won't go far wrong of course the nice thing about a bit of rain probably mean you have the pick of the pegs at a lot of venues this weekend is, as we know, a lot of anglers prefer to stay indoors, so in that sense it's no bad thing. There'll still be some good fishing to be had if you know where you're heading this weekend. And lastly, what about the canals like where we are at the minute? Well, as you can see, there's absolutely loads of fish to be caught on the Sheffield Canal here. And I think most canals will be similar this weekend, obviously not as affected by an influx of rain as rivers. Will it be as good as last weekend? Possibly not. That drop in temperatures might have knocked things on the head a bit, but there'll still be plenty of fish to be caught. So now I'm going to go and have a chat with Adam Dowd, who's a younger coach who's been really making a name for himself, not just in the coaching scene, but in the match fishing scene too. Well, I'm here with a really good friend of mine, Adam Dowd. He's uh, not only is a, a qualified coach, but he works for the Canal River Trust full time and is a top match angler as well. Adam. Obviously, the Sheffield Canal, it's one of them waterways. To me, it's a bit neglected, really. Yeah, whenever, you, whenever we're down here, sort of thing, there's, there's always not that many people fishing, to be honest. But whenever you walk past, especially in the summertime when there's loads of fish, when it's warm, you can see all the fish. It's absolutely full of fish. Yeah. And we've, we've caught plenty today. We've obviously had the Let's Fish event today. And, I'm, I'm, well, I've, I've, all the kids have caught so far, sort of thing. So that's the main thing. And we're, we're coming into winter now as well, so it should be a little bit harder, but everyone's catching plenty. Absolutely, it's um, it's been really interesting. I've thought how you know, the different sort of oh, there we are, a little rope. 
Oh, it's come off. Has it come off? It's, um, it's been really interesting to me that, you know, as you say, we're in late October, the fish are spread out. And what we have to do on these events um, is obviously fish quite close in so the kids can see the float, etc. It's not what you'd call a standard sort of match style tactics that we're using, is it? No, we're literally fishing a, a top kit and two section, so it's really close in. So you'd probably presume from a match fishing background, you're not going to catch that many fish or it'll just be perch, but we've had everything today from roach, perch, I think some of the people have had little skimmers into the roach there. Lovely but, little fish, aren't they? Yeah. Look at him. They're all pristine fish. They barely, they barely get caught, so they neglect, these neglected little canals, they're obviously full of fish, popping back. Absolutely. I mean, today, obviously, you've fished bread punch on that five metre line. We've put a line in with some pinkies and some worms. You're also having a dabble with the, the whites, uh, the white micras. Yeah, um, we're l just literally alternating between some. I think, that especially for the kids sort of thing, it, 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 there's no, they don't need a bread punch, there's nothing to prepare, it's literally just hook, you can just, they're all, they, near, they, they mimic or they're exactly the same as the bread punch anyway, so yeah. these roasts, especially when, they, when they're t tuned onto this bread, they don't know it, they don't know the difference. No, no, that's it, so it is, isn't it, it's about varying between the two really, and I think, you know, that's one great thing about Fruca, we have sort of definitely aimed it as a bait that helps new people, makes it easy for new people to get into fishing. They can pick up a bag, they can go fishing, and uh, yeah, it's great to see plenty of fish being caught on the bait today. So before we go, slipping back. I want a little, um, just one little question for you, mate. Go on, Tom. If you were taking somebody fishing for the first time on a, on a canal, yep. what are the most important things? What would you say the key things are for them to consider? Uh, obviously, in terms of if we're fishing a pole today, it's not to fish too heavy. The fish in the canals, there's lots of fish in the canals, mm. but generally not that like, not, not, not full of carp, that is commercial fisheries, so generally full of roach, so small hooks, small lines, and just small baits. Something that's going to get bites off all day sort of thing. So they're the, the key tips really, just, just keep firing your bait in and the, the, fish will, the fish will soon come along. Absolutely. Go Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, fishing forecast. It's been a little bit different to normal. As you can see, some brilliant work done being, being done by John and the Let's Fish team. For more information, check out the link that's underneath this post. I'm sure you'll agree, this is the future of fishing.